There we go, and we're off. Hello there, folks of uh, the Wicker, the Klingersarf, Wolfingersarf, etc. Today, it's Wicker, more than it's Kimblot, 2023. I'll try and be a bit louder because it is very windy here today in the kingdom of the Wicker. Uh, I'm going to light these candles if I can. Uh, so, uh, welcome everyone. I'm just going to light these if I so well. Come on. Yes. Yeah, the wind is very bad today. Good job, we're inside. I don't, you know what? Uh, I'm having second thoughts. Do we do the fire or do you think it'll be alright? Mm, yeah, I'm not sure actually. We've got this Yule log on the go. Yeah. So uh, I'll get a quick pick of that and then we'll begin. So uh, actually, I'm not. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I think we'll need it for fire for safety yeah. reasons. Yeah, yeah. So uh, well, we've got the Yule log lit there. That one, Chris, give us that's fine. Yeah. Uh, so again, welcome everybody. Uh, we'll start with. Uh, a moment or two to uh, just release any bad energy and then we'll begin. I'm a right carrier in this half, and all of you fellows keep this fifth. I'm a right carry for the layout, hammering Grendel's into flight. For no way, for no way, for no way, oh, this a half. But in God's spears, I am your bane, and you will know my even name. For no way, oh, for no way, oh, for no way, oh, this a uh, half. We only need to circle three times so I can fit that into one round of that. So now, oh, the horn. Uh, is that, do you want to play the horn, Bubba? I know, though. <laughs> Does anyone want to sort of do the uh, chimes for the uh, uh, yeah. the uh, one eye? What can you do there? Thank you, Dan. There you go, bud. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Thank you, bud. Cheers, Bubba. Half cousin Bubba. All good. And now we will do the maid. Hell hi thunderer, in your name, may this mead be hallowed, for no whale, for no whale, for no whale. And I'm going to bless knives as well if that's okay. Yeah. Hell hi thunderer, in your name, may Nathan's beverage be hallowed, for no whale, for no whale, for no whale. There we go. And that's what I'm after. Yes, thank you. Hell Warden, we honour your ways. Brother, uh, oh wait, just for um, no, uh, let's show it out first, and then I'll just have a oh, yellow yeah, one. Yeah. Okay. Then, <coughs> I'll have to go easy on it because I'm a bit tall for it. Oh, that's all good. That all right, bud? Yeah. Epic, right, okay. Now we cleanse. Now I'm gonna be really careful. It's very important that I don't get ready for this. For no whale. No. Cleanse the hole for no whale. For no whale. For no whale. No, we've got away it, yeah. For no whale.
back in and flick it in the old direction if it's better now. If flick I want it on my clothes, if you want. Yeah. Oh, well. Thank you. There we go, bud. Hal Wicker, Hal, uh, Hal Wicker, the Klingers half and the Wolfingers half, our active halves and our Kimblots of our forebears. Hal Enner, N Hare and N Friff, Hal Ickel, our upholding deity, and N Friff and uh, uh, N Hare and N Friff, the uh, upholding deities of our kin kingdom, and also Wolfer of the Wolfingers. Now are the months of Yaila, which means Yule, the first half of which is often called Ariyala, meaning former Yule, and less often uh, Ariyala Manoff, the former Yule month, and much less often still Gila Manoff, Yule, Manoff, Yule month. Each of the two Yule months can also be called Yaila Manoff, meaning the Yule, the month of Yule, with each day within these months being a Yala day. The Yule day about this time and of our heathen forebears, the venerable bead wrote the first month, which which the Latins call January, is Yala, December, Yala, the same name in which January is called. They began the year on the 8th calendars of January and and very night they used to call for the heathen word more than it that is mother's night because of the ceremonies they enacted all that night the month the months of Yala derive their name from the day from the day when the Sun turns back and begins to increase because of these months Proceed this day, and the other and the other follows. Yale, Yale, Yahol, uh, Yil, and our word Yule are hard to define. Though the the best meaning of the word may be merry, which would seem right, given those months are full of merry making and fun. The full moon of April of uh, Ariel, sorry, is known as. The the cold moon because the winter cold fastens its grip. It is also known as the long night moon for the nights in this month are the longest and darkest. We also call this full moon the moon before Yule which ties in with the month name Ariela. When we call to mind that the Anglo-Saxons started their days with sundown not, not midnight and we can account for the for the change in in a circular in circular. Calendars from the Julian welded in in the time of the venerable Bede to the Georgian of today, welded in England since 1752 CE. We in Anglican, no, we in uh, Klingershalf and Hawickikin. Uh, Hold to the rightful few of coming together as holy guildsmen for more than it on the eve of the winter sunset. Well, it's now the sun, winter sunset now, which is usually the 21st or 22nd of December. More than it means Mother's Night or the Night of Mothers, and it is no small thing to, re to rely on the day following more, uh, more than it. Sees the drawing of the new Anglo Saxon year with the winter sunset and the start of Sunna, ride back to full health, where she will shine bright at Litha. That's when you'll be out so damn. As if this month did not have enough names already, our Anglo-Saxon forebears also called it Midwinter Monoff, the month of midwinter. We know the Anglo-Saxons acknowledged only two full seasons, winter and summer, with winter starting in winter Philip, it may therefore seem strange to call this month midwinter, midwinter monoff, when the middle of winter is next month, 
in Aethele Yaila, in which bears the coldest nights of the year. However, midwinter, midwinter and off does, does bear the astronomical midwinter sunstead, which nevertheless is often called midwinter's day. Sunstead comes from Old English sunstead, meaning the standing still of the sun, the stead of sunna, and midwinter sunstead is the shortest day of the year. Bridge, bridging the last day of the old Anglo-Saxon year with the first day of the new one. Whereas the months are judged by the begoing of Mama, the year is judged by the beginning of his sister Sunna. To the elder Anglican, this may have been a sad time because of the, because of the going down of the Walkin Rider uh, into darkness. Logically represented her symbolic death, Hybit Sunna would once more rise boldly and uh, victoriously from the East to herald the new Anglo Saxon year, a, a cause for great merry making. And so the winter sunset, then as now, is flanked by two celebrations, more than it on the eve of the first day of the new Anglo Saxon year, brought forth by Sunna's waxing and birth anew. Like our forebears before us, we Anglican are our, 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 our sun worshippers. As we meet before the winter sunset, let us say sun as we do. So it's like, like at the main block, uh, if we could all repeat. Yep. I'll be thy sunna. I'll, I'll be thy sunna. Welcome rider. Welcome rider. See fairer, see fairer. Hope shining day wonderer, hope, hope shining day wonderer. Heathen friend, heathen friend. Barn of the gods, barn of the gods. Show us the way through good and ill, show, show us the way through good and ill. Welcome rider, welcome rider. I'll be thy sunna, I'll be thy sunna. What's the hell? What's the hell? The worship of the mothers and the Mordenites held in their name, was taken from lands near the Rhine in Germania to Britannia. From the 1st to the 5th to the 500 tides, CE, uh, Germanic for, uh, Theodoretti made up the Fernsey, uh, the Frisians and Saxons were uh, stationed by Rome on its borders in Britannia and in troubled hot spots, hot spots along Hadrian's Wall, and in the new, new tidely shire of Gloucester, our forebears worshipped the mothers, and and there, they held Sida to them, uh, asking for their blessings and kindness. These sons of Germania set up homesteads on New Earth in Britannia, amidst fighting, and underset linking, these lands to their kindreds and homes. In Germania and Britannia, the mothers are shown to be free, free women, and often they are seat, seated carrying baskets of fruit in their laps. They are linked with holy lands, water, fertility, and protection. The mothers are otherwise known as uh, Huldona. Her name is found on in uh, in, in Volspa, a uh, Hullin and he's said to be Funnor's mother, so in other words, uh, known to the Norse as uh, Yord, uh, who's elsewhere called Yord, yep, there we go, meaning the earth or even uh, Mother Earth. Funnor's father is of course Wodin. Funnor, uh, godly bloodline, marries up to the inherited Indo-European few, alive in Germanic belief, where be a Welkin god of the Essia marries or makes offspring with one of the earth Gidna amongst the Wanai and sees union between Walkin and Earth which leads to a strong healthy and well loved godling likewise Alwal the Warden became in union with Frigg and they and they begot Baldai they they, uh, they you know give birth Baldai a much loved undying god. Uh, in these couplings, Woden continued a long held few, which earlier two as held with Nerfus when Walkin God and Mother Earth came together. Next page. Uh, 
following the meaning of moines in Frith and, and the Union diggits to Isco, Gildan gifts to Huldana have been found in the in the now now uh, now toidly lands of the Netherlands. Huldana's name is likely linked to the old English Helen, meaning hide or cover up, which links her to, to the earth. Another of another of the mothers is Nehalemia. Her help was asked for in crossing the North Sea from from England from England or England well yeah England lands to Britannia in the shrines raised to her. She is often shown to be uh, seated with a winged cap, a large necklace, and with with a basket of apples, fruits and nuts by her. In English views, nuts are a symbol of fertility and uh, health and have been found in graves from the, medi from the medieval time in North Germanic law. The Gedon, known as Idun, is said to keep the gods young, with her apples and the role of Idun and her apples seem to be uh, a continuation of the older Anglo-Saxon few of, G of uh, Gedona, such as Nihilemia, who are linked with fruit, youth, health and fertility. Nihilemia uh, is also shown with either a dog or a ship or both and is sometimes stationed on the ship on the ship's keel. Her name may be based on Neo meaning ship, Ne meaning kill or Ne or Newa Leno meaning coming uh, nigh or near. So basically uh, Nihilemia he we're in Heidvolk's song is uh, we pretty much see her as a done, the same goddess. Uh, then there is uh, Tanfana, another of the mothers, and Wom, uh, Wom and Hog was raised in the name of in what is now uh, the Netherlands, uh, and which was destroyed by Roman forces under the general Germanicus when he massacred the Germanic Laod, uh, Germanic Laod of of the Massey. Tam Tamfana, Tamfana's name has been linked to the old English word uh, faf Fafian, meaning to concede or to agree, to accept, and so Tamfana is one of who agrees to ask and is giving 2,000 years on from when those Frisian, Frisian and Saxon forebears of ours held Sida and Blot to the mothers in this land. We, we Fern Sidras again kindle this few and give thanks to the mothers on more than it. Uh, if you could repeat after me please again. Wasu hal halud haldona. Wasu hal dona. Wasu hal ni halemia. Wasu hal ni halemia. Wasu hal tanfana. Wasu hal tanfana. Like our forebears of old, like our forebears of old, we beseech good health, we beseech good, good health, and thrift, and thrift. In the in the stead of Frisians and Saxons, in the stead of Frisians and Saxons, we their afterbears, we their afterbears, walk this land, the light of the gods, walk this land, the light of the gods, the high gods and true gods, the high gods and the true gods, Elamorda. Elmorda, Sigamorda, Sigamorda, Halmodra, Halmodra, what's the hell? Mother Freak. In Germania, two layod, two layod, yep, that's what's all right. Sick, yep. Two layod were at war uh, with each other. One was called the uh, the Win Winley and the other, the Vand the Vendals or Vandals, the or the Origo Genit Genit uh, Longbard Rum reads uh, reads Ambre and a Assi, that is the leaders of the Van Vandals, asked Wodin to give them victory over the, the Winleys. Wodin answered, saying, Fuss, I shall give victory to those 
that those uh, when I first see at sunrise at that time Gambra with her two sons that is Yabo and Agi Agiu uh, who were chieftains over the uh, the winnies asked Fleeg to be favourable to the to, to the uh, winnies. Then Fleeg gave advice that the win uh, the winnies uh, should come at sunrise, and that their uh, their woman should also come with their husbands, with their hair let down around their face like beards. When it became light at sunna uh, was rising. Fleeg, the wife of Warden, turns, turned the bed where her husband was lying, putting his face towards the east, and woke him up, and looking at them, he saw the Winnerleys and their woman having their hair let down around their faces, and he said, Who are these long bearded, bearded ones? And, uh, and, Fleeg, and Fleeg said to Warden, Since you have given them a name, uh, give them also the victory. He gave them the victory, so that so that they should defend themselves according to this plan and gain victory. Since that time, the the Willemies were called the Lombards. The Lombards are the same layout known to Tacticus as the Lombard the Lombardi, who uh, writes about Germania as. Uh, Distinguished by being few in number, surrounded by so many mighty folks, they have protected themselves not by submissiveness but by battle and boldness. Next to them come the uh, uh, the Rian, sorry, uh, the the Re, Re Digni Saxons, Angles, Varani, Jutes, uh, Suranis, and. Uh, uh, who who protected by the river and forests? They are distinguished by a common worship of of Nerfu, that is Mother Earth, and believed she. Uh, following the meeting of minds in Frith and their union, big up to Isico. Golden gifts. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong page. Sorry. So uh, we believe she. What's that one? She uh, in, uh, intervines the human affairs and rides through their folks. The Lombards and Angles were once within the same Germanic confederation of Laod, known as the Suri, and both were once ruled over the godling Skiafa. It is clear from Anglo-Saxon poetry that the two Laods, uh, the two Laods knew each other well. The god law of how the Lombard, the, yeah, the Lombards came to know the smacks of the sway, sway woman, have, have over men. Even Woden, the Alwalda uh, and uh, Alderblotte of the Essia, who learned, who learned the Ukraine knowledge of the runes following he, uh, his hanging on the urban sill, is subject to sway. His wife Free has over him. Fleeg gives her name to our day, the day of the week, Friday, from Old English free die or uh, free die, yet free die or free die, both meaning the date of free. In England, her name is also given to to uh, Frobury, uh, the stronghold, the stronghold of Fleeg. Oh wow, uh, Foyle Hill, Foyle Hill of Fleeg. Free folk, Freeg's folk, all three of which are Hampshire in Hampshire, uh, Frethorn, uh, Thornbush of Freeg, in Gloucestershire, and likely are others such as Friday for in Yorkshire. Freeg's name means love and to love and has a link to sex and sexual love. The Old English phrase, where's Freeg? Where's free means the love of a man, and uh, and so uh, in other worlds, sex. Germanic Theodoretti left an in, an inscription of Dea uh, 
Flagabite on, on one of the Wareford stones in a homestead at Tajan's Wall with the meaning of Gidon, love giver, which is likely linked to the meaning free love and perhaps one who gives love freely. This shows the worship of Freeg there alongside mothers. Freeg's name better describes the Gidon, Freel, who, who's a whose title means lady and who is the sister and is the uh, sister of uh, Freya in the title meaning Lord given to Ingwe. Likewise, uh, yeah, likewise Freyl is a title better describe, that describes Freeg, a truth shown in North Germanic law. It must be true that Freeg and Freyl are one and the same which each embodying a different element of the Gidon. One has a distinct aspect of the Gidon, uh, uh, of the Gidon worshipped independently from the other, and yet even so, they are linked uh, for together, they, sh they show the transition of a woman from maiden to leading lady. Freyl is the younger woman out of a wedlock, whereas Freeg is the wife and mother. Freel is the carefree maiden in youth. Freeg is the older and wiser, more distinguished lady of the layard. First the Gidon, Freeg Freel. Literally embodies the eifling roles of woman in the layard. Freeg is the leading lady of the gods and Gidon, and the home home homestead and the and the ward of kindred's wealth this is seen in the uh, aforesaid god law where in the homestead fleek held sway over woden and steered steered the way of the weird for her lombards fleek is said to be strongly linked with weird to weird and as a and as a spy wife a valda a Ceres, and a, and a valor who, who uh, draws on the otherworldly power of Sedan, known to the one eye, Sedan can involve this, this caring the way of weird and working within its structure to bring about change, sometimes by weaving new things into being. We, uh, as, we, as we heard, tell at the Ermansal Blot, uh, Baldai is slain. Uh, in Middengarda, in Middengarda, by his brother, uh, uh, wh where after he rises again in the halls of the gods, having gone for Farron up the Ermansil, fur uh, further to this, the god law of Baldai's Droima tells us that Baldai suffered from dreams, uh, foreshadowing his doom. Fleek, his mother, is likewise said. Uh, is local said to have shared these dreams, foretelling of her son's doom. In North Germanic law, holds that Baldai's death is a forewarning of the doom of the gods. Woden rides out uh, to uh, to hell to learn of how he might to hell to learn how he may stop his son's death. But alas, the gods are undone by the trickery of the unnamed one, and in and in the end, Baldai is slain. Again, or his brother, uh, Hiafu, which is Hodor in Old English, when he shoots mistletoe at him. In England, there is a poem, both old uh, and wise, known as the man, the man of Mitch, which, uh, which the man is of Moist rides in search of uh, the nightmare, and upon finding her binds, what is it? No, oh, okay. Bonds and binds her with uh, her own hair to stop the nightmares happening. The rider and binder of the nightmare here is understood to be Woden himself, and his links to the god law of Woden in Valdai's drama, riding off to hell to try and foretell to forestall the death of his son, foreseen by Baldai and Freeg in their nightmares. The man of Mitch is clearly a fern cedar Galdor, uttered to keep the nightmares at bay, or forestall what they foretell. Uh, some dreams can foreshadow our weird, and nightmares 
such as the ones that are asked by Lorian Free, uh, could have awful ends. Before you read the next page, I just want to warn you there's a big massive spider behind you. There's that. In the I'll corner see, of the top yeah. of the tree, you see. Yeah, uh, trying to think how to deal with it. No, he's good lad. I'm not uh, very good with spiders. Uh, for a bit and it should it should do its work so okay there we go right uh right then the man of mitch i'm really not on the lap of i i'm terrible with them <laughs> the man of mitch it's all right it's sorry, the wind <laughs> the wind sorry that shit oh, oh sorry about that the man of mitch he wrote <laughs> my baby paranoid now the man of Mitch, he rode oh Nitch, uh, uh, oh no, I did the English version. The man of Might, he rode at night, which neither sword, nor feared, nor light. He sought the mare, he found the mare, he bound the, the mare with her own hair, and made her swear by middle might she would do no more ride at night, where once he rode that man of Might. We could all repeat, please. Yeah. Hail the Mononit. Hail, Hail the Mononit. Hail the Night Rider. Hail the Night Rider. Hail Woden. Hail Woden. What's the hell? What's the hell? In fact, it's Alex still calling behind you, is it? You see it going up there, being there. Oh, he's bigger than he? It's on the roof. The roof? Oh, God. Uh, I need something to swat it really. Oh, God, so can you just hold that? Yeah. Sorry about this. Yeah, all no. good. Yeah. Oh, good lad, yeah, that'll do. No good just right on the uh, roof, you see it? Yeah. Now it's gone. And now it has gone, I think. Shake the stick just to be sure. You did squish it, I just. No, it's still moving, I can see it. Right hand me failed. Is that alright? Yeah, sorry. Sorry about that, people. It's alright. Technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah. Arachnophobia difficulties. Is it still there or has it gone? No, I'm it's sure it's squished. Right. Right. No. Nah. I don't see it anywhere. That's good. Right, okay. For out Freeg's god law, we see her as the leading lady of the gods, a loving mother and steadfast Eden, fastened fasten to weird. Can all repeat. Uh, what's so how free? What's so how free? Our frail. Our frail. Ingui's sister. Ingui's sister. Woden's wife. Woden's wife. Spare wife and, and house ward. Spare wife and house ward. As we come before you at Yule. As we come before you at Yule. In your name. In your name. Let our homes be bled fast. Let our homes be bled fast. Let our folk be whole. Let our, Let our folk, folk be, be whole. whole. Let our lad be strong. Let our lad be strong. Yea, la morda in your fifth we keep. We keep. Yea, la morda in your fifth we keep. Siga freak frail. Siga freak frail. 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 What's so how? What's so how? The next bit is the weird sisters. It's another bit we've all got to repeat. Yeah. Yeah. Hail unto you, Nerfus. Hail unto you, Nerfus. Earth Mother. Earth Mother. Hail un unto you, Free. Hail unto, unto you, Free. free. House Mother. House Mother. With the flowing of time. With the flowing of time. All things uh, wither in Midgard. All, all things wither in Midgard. Yet the wheel turns again. The yeah, wheel the turns, turns again. again. And your tides come back anew. And your, and your tides, tides come, come back, back anew. Like the bleeding god Baldi. Like the, the bleeding god Baldi. Freak's son following hardship. Freak's son following hardship. hardship. Come back anew. Come, come back, back anew. anew. I beseech you heathen mothers. I with, beseech. 
yeah, sorry, there you go. I beseech you, heathen mothers. I beseech you, heathen, heathen mothers. mothers. With our friend Cedar and Gifts. With our friend Cedar and, and Gifts. Let our forebears never be short of good. Let our, our forebears never be short, short of good. good. Cheer and fellowship. Cheer, Cheer and fellowship. fellowship. May they always be where the mead and food is best. May, May they always, always be where the mead and food, food is best. best. Who having gone for Farron. For having gone for Farron. Let the great halls now keep them. Let the great halls now, now keep, keep them. them. Ever let them be their loved ones. Ever let, let them be their loved ones. And many names who came before them. And, and many, many names who came before them. them. Ready to welcome us after we too go for Farron. After uh, ready to welcome us after we, we go for two go for Farron. Our mothers of the folk. Our mothers, mothers of, of the folk. folk. Hail unto you free. Hail, Hail unto you free. free. House mother. House, House mother. mother. Hail to you Nerthus. Hail, Hail to you Nerthus. Earth mother. Earth mother. What's up? Should be the Weird Sisters now, yes it is. Weird is that No, it's definitely dead. Good. Weird is 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 an old old English word which means what has become and what has happened. It is it is uh, unchangeable things in the past and in life which have already happened and which are outside of one's control, yet hold sway over us. Weird is linked with worth, and the two are bound to one another. Weird is often seen is often seen as well made up of layers of past deeds, or as weave be, being spun. Three female high ones are said to steward the well, or the roots of the omen soul, or to spin its weave. Their names are uh, are Weird End, Weird and Skilled. Together they are known as the Weird Swayta, the Weird Sisters, the Spinners and the Norns. That's their name in Old English. Yeah. No, it says there. The Sisters are kept strong and whole by Weird. Just as the well of Weird is kept strong and whole by them. Weird flows from the well or is... Or is uh, is woven sorry, is woven from the wheel up through the omen soul to all worlds and halls just as from all worlds and halls the deeds are uh, of all uh, living things and their outcomes feed back into the well of weird adding a layer to it or adding more yarn to the basket weird end day is an under is a uh, unending time flows through her weird uh, as deeds reach their ends and skilled sways this be going as deeds uh, in the past sway the sway the now sway the now uh, weird from uh, uh, yeah weird from the past leads to an uh, in, inheritance of all leg from the forebears which shapes the paths we walk. The better inherited Orleg, uh, better, uh, the better Megan has, has for themselves and bestow into others. Weird is like water flowing through under over things. An irresistible force which can flow forward and backwards. The deeds impact a new folk and a new folk make the deeds which impact impact those yet to be. In Tolkien's The Fellowship of the Ring, Gandalf scorns Frodo for thinking that Gollum, Gollum is better better off dead. Gandalf says, true courage is about knowing not when to take life, but when to spare one. Further back in time, to, to the hobbit Bilbo, uh, Bilbo, Frodo's older cousin, well, it's actually... Uh, uh, Bilbo, uh, for, no, he's actually his uh, nephew. Uh, spares Gollum life, Gollum's life when it would have been easy to take it while unseen and wearing the ring. Bilbo unbeckon West to him at the time saves uh, saves his uncle's life uh, years later as Gollum 
has gone on uh, and under Travic Ray destroys the ring by losing his footing and falling into the lava after wrestling it back from Frodo, whose steadfastness had buckled at uh, at Mount Doom and so freed Frodo from its grasp. Tolkien was a professor of Old English and his stories drew heavily from Anglo-Saxon and North Germanic lore. This story shows that the weird is an in, uh, integral weave woven with many strands with the past of fundamentally holding sway over now and the and the yet yet to be. We on we day is a uh, un un undo, uh, un 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 undoing time goes from her to weird as deeds reach their ends and skilled sway is this beginning as deeds in the past sway the now. From the Anglo-Saxon poem, The Wanderer, comes the line, Weird Bith Bithful, I read, meaning weird st steadfast, and from Beowulf comes the line, uh, Gaff, gaff weird swa heel skell, meaning the weird goes over as she shall. The English, the English belief of weird is which which has come before that which is coming and that of which will come weird overlies every bit of Midgarda and the other worlds uh, we each of us here have a weird and indeed all things from the Durkin uh, to the gods uh, are bound by weird weird is that which is ever therefore undying and under, under un, 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 unending, I can't pronounce that. Undying. Undying, it's got to be. She goes as uh, she must steadfast and true. It is, it is said that when we are born, the spinners cut the thread of weave, which is our lifespan. So they know then, at birth, when we will meet our death. With the winter sun's dead, we are at time when sun... Sun is light, uh, is at Lewis, and death abounds, and the wolves give chase, and Harry the Welkin rider, yet weird steadfast. This is yearly tied, and our Germanic to time is a uh, clinical. Just like Sunna, who continues to ride, just like Beowulf, who fought the worm alone, having been abandoned by his fellow boy. For his fellows and just like Dale who when suffering hardship said throughout, throughout it all that we went away so may, uh, so may this we each of us must have anfang for our weird uh, in angle in uh, fa in fines of fancy that in wicked kin anfang is the first of our ethel woman it means acceptance for the things you cannot change, and which fighting against it would uh, would at worst eat 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 away at you, and best waste your time, having anfang, therefore, uh, therefore, can stop this damage, and there it is static strength, in anfang for your weird, for you acknowledge that you are one small piece of a greater puzzle. One which is not always understood. In the two towers by Tolkien, it reads, You have not said all that you know or guess, Aragorn, my friend. He, uh, he Gandalf, said, quite, uh, said quietly, Poor Boromir. Uh, poor Boromir. Poor Boromir. Poor Boromir could not see what happened to him. It was it was sore trial from such a man, a warrior and a lord of men. Uh, Gladriel told me that he was in peril, but he escaped. He escaped in the end. I'm glad. It was not in vain that the young hobbits came with us, uh, if only for Boromir's sake. This passage speaks of weird. And Gladriel seemed to be able to foresee things much in the same way that Frigg 
can also see the weird of men. It can be said that Bo uh, Boromir's weird uh, was sealed and that he was set to lose the battle. With the ring uh, as so many others had, yet after losing this battle and uh, involuntary breaking his fellowship with the hobbits, he chose to fight. Uh, he chose to fight Stout heartlessly, no, uh, uh, yeah, heartedly, saying many orcs and ta slaying many orcs and taking many arrows, which ended his life. Gandalf is glad on that, which had come to pass. And the fellowship, uh, having met in this way, Boromir died heroically for the fellowship, much like Beowulf. Uh, Beow Beowulf's death uh, was one truly uh, befitting such as an Aifling warrior. Our lives are limited and affected by others around us and those before us as well. As the steads we live in all age uh, to help from the path in front of us and the Megan we raise, how we walk it Yet there is still the free will within us all that can sway things and which is no doubt itself affected by Megan. It was Anfang for his weird uh, that let Boromir die a warrior's death and let him die having won back his honour, leaving behind the great mare soul. Weird is a steadfast weird is steadfast. Weird goes ever as as sh she shall. Weird winter death, fight not, fight not against these unbreakable fetters. Uh, instead, hold true fellowship. Laugh in the face of adversity. Uh, smile in the downpour. One, one can, one can never enjoy. The, the light without darkness, nor merry making without sorrow. And thank. Fellows and Fang, this Alpha One at his strength. While we cannot break all fetters, we can change our attitude towards them. Do so, and you will become an Ethel born soul free to soar with the greats. If you could all repeat after me, please. Yeah. Next bit. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Weird is steadfast. Weird is steadfast. Weird goes ever as she shall. Weird goes ever as she shall. What's so hell weird? What's so hell weird? Swear, swear to. Spinners and weavers. Spinners and weavers. Long may you steward the well of weird. Long may you steward the well of weird. Whatever befalls me like Beowulf. Whatever befalls me like, me like Beowulf. Like Dale and all the great ones. Like Dale and, and all the great, great ones. ones. I shall have Anfang. I shall, I shall have, have Anfang. Anfang. Before the end of my weave. Before the end, end of my weave. weave. Great deeds will I do. Great deeds will I do. Good things for my fellows. Good, Good things for my fellows. fellows. Good things for my kin. Good things for my kin. A fain of Fern Cedar. A fain of Fern Cedar. And her wicked kin. And her wicked kin. So that's when I go for Farron. So that's when I go for Farron. My forebears will welcome me gladly. My forebears will welcome me gladly. Sea Gangle Kin. 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 Wassel Hell. Wassel Hell. Maybe not. Oh no, there's a bit more here. Okay, I think we're nearly done. Uh, the the Odessa are high-born woman in Beowulf's Hrothgar Quen Hwalfiu. Uh, Odis Skifinger leads the hall Sida at feast and funeral. It is Hwalfiu's honour uh, uh, to be the drink sharer. And pass round the mead horn to her own, yeah, yeah, to her own folk and the guests at at uh, Herot, including the beer wolf, Walfew, mean servant of the slave, a name that must be linked to the Walkley, the Walkley, and the choosers of the slave, 
like we threw through old English law, uh, like old English law, Edsia are linked with death and battle, and the power to give life and take it away. In the D. Biela Gallico, Caesar notes that uh, that amongst the Germanish of her day, it was the few for women to declare whether it was auspicious to go to, to war or not, showing that the raid of woman folk held great great sway over the Germanic layout. An old English gloss an old English gloss Oidsia uh, reckons them as maidens of a four a foresight. foresight and here we see again the link between woman and weird and the capability to see through the other world and more than just more than just the uh, immediate or temporal much like Frigg who has foresight in our friend Cedar women are linked with otherworldly powers and Cedar like gifts far more so than men Indeed, it is true to say that women uh, play a, a vital role in Germanic heathenism, not just among, <laughs> amongst the gods, but in Middengarda as well. One of the uh, innermost roles of woman within the layard is that of a peace weaver or thrift weaver that is the foregoing of peace and good relations between folk and kindreds within the layard. In the days of the elder Anglican, women enjoyed high status and Sida of Blotter and their link to Weird saw them uh, con consoled before the important events. Women were also bestowers and, uh, and law keepers of Arthur and Sida. It was their charge to teach of the offspring of the Laod about our gods and law. They were the bearers of few. Germanic heat. Uh, heathenism, heathendom, more so that any other religion uh, places great responsibility, respect and importance on women. Uh, if you could all repeat please. Wassel hail Ledersick Mordor. Wassel Ledersick Mordor. Keep our layered hold. Keep our layered hold. Hail Hoi Wands. Hail Hoi Wands. Seeger Mordor. Seeger Mordor. Wassel hail. Wassel. That is the end of the script. Uh, I think, bro, I'm gonna, I'm yeah, gonna right. try it. Uh, but uh, it might be better staying here. I do. What I'm gonna actually do is try and burn this yule log. Not Are you alone. sure you want it? Yeah, just alone though. And I'm gonna yeah, take sure. the candles off it. No, I'm gonna spill that sh um, gonna that, yeah. liquid that's on it. Try and keep it away from stuff like flags and stuff, that'll be the next thing to go. Oh, yes. I'm only going to put this on. Right. Oh. oh, sorry, mate. It's all right there. Because these candles can be used for something later, can't they? Yeah, they can. Yeah, yeah they can be used again. Yeah. Well, they can just be used for wax at another time. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Is that all three of them? That's all for you. Cheers, mate. I'll put them in the chest when we're done. Yeah, thanks, bro. So I thought we'll read Ian's poem. Yep. Yeah. While uh, we load the log. Anyone need to write it for you? Yeah, I've done it. I'll pause it. Did you get the water spirit in the fire or the spirit? Yeah, of course, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Can you go and get some matches, please, bro? I think I know. Oh, I'm on coffee over some of Dan's petrol. No, 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 I don't need some petrol. Right. Let me have a go. Oh, yeah. Good luck. I'm sure you'll make some progress, but I don't think it'll last long enough. Nah. <coughs> In fact, we just can get out of here just to bother the trees. We have this every year. Everybody knows. Because we always get Scotland win. Well done, Scotland. Scotland win. Well, it's really going on. Oh, well done. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, we've got a good point. Yeah. I recommend standing well clear. I'm standing here. That's far and good. <laughs> you got it going. You can see the camera then. Is it looking at the fire? Yeah, yeah. It's a good visual. Oh. So you can all hear me, I know you can't uh, see me for this bit, but <laughs> I'm still here. This is uh, Goddess of Light, early hours of the morning by Ian Lord, uh, our half brother. Thank you for this, Ian. Let's wait for the wind. As we go into the shortest day, Finn Vale, Fading Night, Soon of Old, 
by darkness as we enter longest night. While all around is darkness as we approach the end of the year, the wheel is slowly turning as the solstice draws near. Hope, uh, hope begins to rise as the day returns. With sun is smiling down as the wheel slowly turns. Nervous is once again will flourish as all round begins to grow. As the wheel always turning, as land hearts begin to glow. That is sun is no, no, that is uh, goddess of light by Ian Lord, our half brother. Should we uh, do the toast inside and that burn a bit? Yeah. Steph did say it burn well. Yeah, it is. If you weren't joking. Yeah, I'll go and do the outro and I'll keep an eye on this. All right, mate. Oh, yeah, we're going to knock it off. Yeah, that's right. Uh, thank you, everybody, for today. Uh, we always uh, knock off uh, for the toast because they they can be quite personal to people and, uh, you know, um, very meaningful. So uh, thank you for joining us at Hawick at Kimblot. I wish you all a very glad yaila, glad yaila, or happy more than it. And I hope you have a great day, whatever you do or however you see or celebrate it. I'm me, I'm Mitch Nicholson, uh, Fane's Blotter, of the Wicked King Blots, the Klingus Half and Fane's of Fern Cedar. What's so hard? What's See you later. What's